so many of you have put various questions on my original how-to video on asking different questions that I uh, covered in the video, but the video is pretty long, so I'm going to break it down. Um, I'll start with uh, one I see, I see a lot and I hear a lot, uh, especially since the new update, or since that update of food and everything, is how do you eat and drink? And that is actually a fairly simple, uh, very simple thing to explain and do. Um, if you're playing on computer, I will show you in a second, but it's the E button, and it'll tell you, it'll give you a little prompt at the bottom of the screen whenever it wants you to push that button. Same thing for water. It's got to find the food now. I will cut back once I find the food. Looks like I found the plants. Since I am playing as a sock, um, it is a herbivore, which means it eats the plants. Uh, since the food update a couple months ago, the plants have now changed to these kind of plants, which are different than original ones on the original video I made. Um, they, when they changed them, they made them kind of weird, where it's a little bit harder for smaller creatures to even like get the prompt to eat the food. Um, big creatures usually have no problem. But as you see at the bottom of the screen here, it says hold E to eat. If, it's, if you're on your tablet or phone, it's just pushing or tapping the screen and holding it to eat. But you see, I gobbled it up until it was all gone, and my, my stomach is pretty much full, but I'll finish it off here. See, so it popped up again. If you're a smaller creature, you might have to move around and try to get just the right angle, so that way it um, gives you the prompt. If you're unsure where to find food, if you're running around for a while, and you're, or if you're just having trouble in general finding food, if you push the H button, you will smell everything in the area, like I'm smelling this truthy that's up here. And right here I'm smelling the herbs, I said there's 19 left, so it helped fill my, my belly. As I eat it, the number will go down. If there's no food nearby, it will not, it won't show any line, it won't show any green line or red line, depends on what kind of food you're getting coming from your creature. So you'll have to fly around or run around for a while until you can get more wisps. Fly around or, or run around for a while until you can get the, uh, the ability to sniff again and try to find it. And the same thing goes for water. You hit H, a blue line will come out pointing to the water saying that there's water close by. It's pointing over there this time for some reason, but this water is drinkable. You walk up to it, it will say hold E to drink. So you hold E to drink. And you will drink until you're full and it will give you the prompt saying that you're, no, you're, you're not thirsty, and you're good to go. Uh, for the meat, it's the same thing. You have to walk up to the big old rack of ribs that'll land around. I think there's one over here. They, they look like this. This is a big version. There's also smaller ones. Small, there's also smaller ones, but you can walk up to that, and it'll give you the prompt to eat the food as well. You do the same thing. It's really tricky with the smaller creatures, so I'll remind you again, when you're using a smaller creature, you might have to maneuver around a lot until you get the prompt so you can eat food. Because ever since the update they made with the changes to food, it's been doing that um, for smaller creatures. Big creatures usually don't have a problem. Uh, one of the questions I also got uh, involving food is how do you make a food storage? And I'm using a female creature. All my creatures I make are usually female so I can nest people. But it is the same button as used for nesting. Uh, but you have to be a male creature. It has to be a male adult creature. So if it's not an adult, you cannot do it. Um, but you hit the B button on your keyboard. For females, it lays a nest. And you will see this little nest thing from across the map. You always, so you always know where your nest set. For males, they will drop a food storage thing that depends on what kind of creature they are. It'll look like either a rack of ribs or like a big uh, bundle of plants or whatever. But that'll be your food storage. You can fill your, your belly up with food and then go and store it in your food storage and go get more, uh, go get more food. Uh, it helps for if you're trying to hang out for a while in like a cave or something and don't feel like going out to try to find more food. Um, you will have the food storage near you with the same button as nesting, but you have to be a male creature. You hit a male adult creature, you hit B, and then, and then storage will pop up. You will not be able to lay storage anywhere else 
until that storage is gone, and the only way it's going to go away is if you leave the game and come back, or if you just attack it a bunch of times until it breaks. But that is all for the food-related <laughs> questions I have gotten on my first video I made, as well as I've seen many people searching for it online on how to eat and how to drink. Um, like I said, it's harder with the update they made. They made the plants and stuff look cooler, but it also made it harder for smaller creatures to eat. Please uh, give a thumbs up if you like this video, and while you're down there, go ahead and give me a comment, and uh, subscribe while you're at it if you're not already subscribed to my channel. I'll be posting more videos based on comments I have gotten uh, in my first video. I made my first how-to video, as well as any other comments that pop up down below in this comment section or any of my future videos asking me more questions on how to do certain things in the game.